Not partly. Partly you are a historian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, partly you are a historian. No, no, so, no, so, no, no, not partly. Uh, fully. Yes, fully. Yeah, yeah, just let me, let me, let me say this. Yeah. Uh, you, if you look at the history of our country, there have only been two free and fair elections in this country. The election that brought Kenya independent and the election of 2002. Those are the only elections that anyone who studies elections and applies their minds to the signs of elections can say were free and fair. The other elections were either shambolic or were compromised affairs. These institutions of democracy that you lord so highly, like the Supreme Court. Which you wanted to wait a give minute, justice. Uh, wait a minute, no, that, that, to rescue it. <laughs> but you see, but you see, you see, you see, listen to this. Okay. That, that the, those institutions of themselves on occasion either failed, okay, and on one or two occasions made the right call. I grant you that. In 2017, the Supreme Court under Justice Maraga, Chief Justice Maraga, made the right call. And clearly said that the election was irregular and illegal in the way in, in, in the way it was conducted. Okay. By the same Chebukati that you now think is a saint. Your words. Okay. No, the same Chebukati your, that you now think is a saint. Your, your now, 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 let me just let me. He, he, he made a few other points hmm. there. The other point that you make is you invoke the name of John Kidongo. Yes, indeed. In vain. No. In vain, my brother, because... John Mark because just listen. Gidongo. Just listen. John Gidongo has got nothing to do with any data that has been produced. I can tell you that. It has was, got nothing to do with that data. He no, he doesn't have anything to do with the data that, that, yeah. that, that you are calling um, data from the, from the whistleblower. He does not. I think that it is not fair to malign his name. It is not fair. I don't. And, I, and you are a man of honor, and I would like you to take back those words. Now, let me just say this. I know that you have worked with both sides of the aisle. Indeed. Okay. And I know that you know them very, very well. Absolutely. And I think you know that the 2007 elections were stolen. I agree. From the right honorable Raila Odinga. Indeed. Okay. And I think you would agree that the 2017 election was compromised, as the Supreme Court said. If you agree with that, let me finish. I'm coming home now. I'm coming. I'm landing on, on, on you, not on your head. I'm just landing You're on you. Taking too long. I'm landing on you. <laughs> if you if you agree with those uh, those conclusions about 2007 and 2017, what we are asking you to do, my brother, is to give us time to have a conversation with the people of Kenya about the 2022 elections. Do not simply say because Chebukati declared the election or because the Supreme Court uh, you know, anointed or, or sanctified the election that the matter is finished. The matter is not finished. These are questions of numbers and evidence. And we have numbers and we have evidence. And for your information, let me just tell you this, my brother. Because, and I think you know this, because at one point we we're on the same side of the aisle before you skipped around and went to the other side. You are with us on, on this side of the aisle. Let me tell you, <laughs> let, 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 me, let me tell you something. The, these institutions that you, you, you saw now valorize are institutions that are compromised and many of them are corrupt. And let me tell you something, I don't call the Supreme Court of Kenya, so-called Supreme Court, um, you know, without thought. I don't do that. I respect democratic institutions. When I say something like that, my brother uh, Barack, you should take me to the side and ask me, why did you say that? because I can explain to you why I said that. And Prof, let me, let me jump in there and, and tell you, look, you said you recognize and you, and, and, and you respect institutions, but yet you and Azimio refused to recognize President Ruto and his administration. You completely refused to recognize them. Why? 
You see, Jeff, uh, why, first of all, you are asking the questions as though you are a prosecutor. Are you prosecuting me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this very clear. Don't prosecute me. Yeah. Let me tell you, or prosecute. <laughs> prosecute, prosecute. Yeah. Let me say this. Um, you know, elections are conducted and uh, results are declared. Um, it, is, it will be irres irresponsible on the part of Azimio to accept a result that we think amounts to a usurpation of the voice of the people of Kenya and the vote of the people of Kenya. We believe that this election was stolen, was rigged by UDA, by um, the IABC, in cahoots with some international interests that I don't want to name here today. We believe that very strongly, and we have evidence of that. Jeff, if we have evidence of such a thing, what do you want us to do, my brother? Do you just want us to go down and just, just forget about it? You, you, what is our responsibility you, you, to, you to, know. to the people of this country? Before you answer, Barack, real quick, I mean, you're coming in five months later, five, uh, nearly six months later. Because, because you know why, Jeff? Because it takes time to gather evidence, my brother. We are not in government. It takes time to gather evidence. You know. It has taken us time to gather evidence. We have gathered it. We have uh, some damning evidence that we are now presenting to the Kenyan people. Allow us to do that. You see, it's, it's, it's a country in which people can ventilate, mm. okay, can ventilate their grievances and okay. disagreements. Barack. Yeah, th those were 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'll have my 15 minutes. Of fame. <laughs> uh, the, the first thing uh, we want to remind uh, Kenyans and uh, Professor Mutua sometimes tends to suffer from selective 